So between myself and then my husband working from home, two college kids taking online classes, a high school son taking online classes, and a sixth grader also taking online classes. I'll wake up the sixth grader because he has to be online at eight o'clock. And then I'll work out, take a shower, and then sit down and work the basically the whole day through. And then stop probably around dinner time. I'm definitely exercising more now because I'm home more. So before, I would have to get up early, get my family that was home, not away at school, up and out the door and off to school and then I'd have to go to work and then I'd be there all day and then you know come home have dinner go to practice or whatever it was so it, the day was filled up and really busy so it was hard to fit in but now I have a little more time in the morning so it's easier to fit in the exercise since quarantine I'm exercising a ton more uh, like every day um, I'm going out for a walk either with the dogs or with the, you know, the guys, um, who are dads of lacrosse kids that I, that I normally hang out with. And it's been nice because it gives me a little sanity. It gets me like away from everybody for an hour, which is nice. Um, but it's it's been good just to get outside and and you know get some fresh air and it, it's been helpful. Okay, um, have you been able to see any friends and family during quarantine? So just my dad, who lives across the street, um, he comes over every once in a while, and then obviously just us that live in the house, which I kind of like that I have everybody home. But I do miss, I definitely do miss my friends. I miss kind of going out and socializing um, more than, you know, now that I can't do it. Like my, my guys that I hang out with, I'm seeing almost every single night because we walk together. A couple walks, we've had drinks while we walk just to keep social distance. Um, so that's pretty much it. I see a lot of people when I walk the dogs in the neighborhood. I see a lot of people. Has this uh, stopped any hobbies or side jobs or things in your personal life? So I would say it definitely stopped all the spring sports that we like to do and watch. Um, so we miss that a little bit, but other than hobbies, I mean, I tried to do a puzzle with my family, but they wouldn't really do it with me, so I wound up doing it by myself. Um, I have, it's the first year in 13 or 14 years that I'm not coaching one of you boys in, in youth lacrosse. I, I miss seeing the kids. I miss seeing Brian play. Um, early on, I missed it quite a bit because not only was I not seeing Brian play, but um, Mikey, who's a sophomore in high school, was gonna have an exciting season and we were all looking forward to that. And it put a lot of work into um, this season and, and so I, I missed that. But then as time went on, I kinda liked not having to do it, to be honest with you, because um, I still miss it, but at the same time, I'm not running around, you know, we're, we're able to have dinner together, a um, lot more family time, at least with most of you boys. Um, so I've gotten over the missing it part of it and, and now I'm kind of liking quarantine. I do think it's nice to spend time with the family, so I do think we're getting a little bit closer. I feel like there's been quite a few positives about being together as a family and you guys being home from college um, and the little guys and mommy and the doggies all together. Um, I think there's going to be a, a lot of lessons learned like across the nation about how we can't be 
unprepared for something like this. Like, I feel like we maybe were unprepared for this. Um, and I'm hoping that that could be a positive thing come out of it. Also, I, you know, I don't want to get political, but I, I think a positive thing to come out of this is maybe more things made in the United States so we're not dependent on other countries if God forbid other countries are unable to ship things to us. I think in my industry in particular, in the pharmaceutical industry, um, that became very, very clear that we don't make what we need to make here. We're dependent on other places and in a situation like this, that could become problematic and I feel like that might be a positive change that comes out of this. Awesome. Thank you. That's it? That's it.